now, so clap when you're ready and I'll ask the first question. <laughs> Stop! A place at final, a pathway to the Premier League. And of course, this wonderful crackling derby atmosphere this Monday night on Sussex by the Sea. A little Welshman, Jonathan Williams, keeps it in. Dicker try. Okay then, so why do you think the rivalry is there between Brighton and Palace? I think it goes back many, many years. You don't need to look at the camera, do you? No, no. I think it went back to when they were in the England teams together. I'm not really sure of their history, but I know for a fact that they didn't get on with each other. Um, the origins of, of their rivalry, I don't know, but they were two sort of young, relatively successful managers coming through at the same time, I think. And I think that they, they didn't have a lot of time for each other, partly because of that. So, so do you feel like both teams were looking for the same same goal? They both wanted to... They were in the same division? Yeah, we are in the both same division. Similar sort of skill. Similar sort of, similar sort of levels. You know, similar levels of support. And also, I think what's important is they were connected... You know, whilst they're not geographically very close to each other, you know, just sort of logistically getting from Palace to Brighton or Brighton to Palace is actually very easy because it's just there's you know there's a thirty five minute train from East Croydon, so I don't think I don't think just they're in the third division, but both getting very big crowds, both sort of coming up the leagues, and you know in the end both when it ended up going into the first division together at the same time back in nineteen seventy nine, I think. I think the rivalry just sort of built and grew and grew for The Brighton Pier used to be called the Palace Pier and since I saw the rivalry or whatever it's changed the name. Well or do you do you think that's coincidence or I personally think it's coincidence. A lot of people like to t- to claim credit for the Palace Pier being renamed Brighton Pier, but I just think it's a coincidence. And like um I've I've read that um Brighton, now known as the Seagulls, used to be called the Dolphins, but they've changed. They've changed that a little bit. To... You know, when, when we became the Eagles, it's got that sort of. It's got a bit more of a sexy image to it. Um, whether it works or not, I don't know. And then obviously we had that Eagles chant that Brighton then adopted when they became the Seagulls. Um... Now, um, Brighton are in the same league as um, Palace. Do you think the rivalry is going to be sparked up a bit, a bit more? It's going to be a bit more rivalry between the two. Well, I think it will get a bit more attention. Um, obviously, we've 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 been playing each other for some time back back in the lower leagues, but this is the first time. Obviously, we we were in the same in the old first division together back in the late seventies and early eighties. I think 
it'll get a lot more attention. This will be the first time we've both in, been in the Premier League at the same time. Um, for the last sort of 10, 20 years or so, I think we've sort of looked down our nose a bit at Brighton, but now obviously they're back in the Premier League. They've got a great new stadium. Um, if we're honest, we're a bit envious of it. We like uh, we like the stadium that we play in, but it is a bit uh, it is a bit rough and in need of updating. Brighton Stadium is 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 great. It will, will get some attention. Otherwise, there's something wrong if it doesn't. Yeah. I think um, yeah, I, I I think it I think it'll be exciting. I think it'll be quite a sort of a a passionate day. I'm sure people. You know, especially those of my generation, will will we'll think back to the old days and you know the, the the matches of when, you know. You know, qu- qu- perhaps at, at quite an unpleasant time, really. Uh, you know, uh, you know, with fighting at football, and that's so I think that sort of died out now. I think the rivalry is a bit more, uh, in terms of what the young people call banter, but um, hopefully it'll be two good games, and hopefully Palace will win both.